is absolutely a delight to work with Tom Banning. He is approachable, he is accommodating, he is always helpful. He's extremely knowledgeable about all the issues that we deal with in the realm of primary care. Tom is uh, uh, an amazing collaborator, uh, a thought leader, a thought partner. He's just really smart and strategic, thoughtful, and he cares a lot. Tom knows kind of where he wants to drive things and is willing to take the risks to get you where you need to go to make a difference. He's a leader. He's a good communicator. He's strategic, he's thoughtful, he's honest. I think the most important thing Tom does is that he's built a career of trust and a career of respect that he is the subject matter expert. He just keeps the conversation going. Um, and he's also, um, you know, really determined in terms of looking at how we design healthcare, just, you know, the delivery system more thoughtfully. You know, he's been uh, uh, someone who held up the banner for uh, uh, for change in the healthcare arena, so that uh, really primary care had a voice. When you look at where the market's moving, um, the value that is being placed on primary care to manage continuous, coordinated, quarterbacked care is huge. Uh, just at the peak of the pandemic, Tom uh, and his uh, team at the Texas Academy of Family Physicians. Uh, their effort, their leadership. Tom made sure that we had the um, PPE, the personal protective equipment needed in order to move through with any individual patient encounters we needed to have in person. He went across the state um, to other places as well as outside of the state to obtain PPE and then individually drove it to our communities to make sure that the family docs in those communities and others had those had that equipment. That just, I think, is a, a prime example of his dedication to primary care. Tom has been an important, uh, a critical voice in uh, ensuring that as the consortium seeks to move the needle on primary care for all Texans, our work, our decisions are grounded uh, in the reality, built upon the foundation and the important work that has already taken place. He has a vision. He is steadfast in his vision, and that is to uh, increase access to primary care, it's to increase the number of primary care clinicians. People are understanding the cost trends that we're on are, are no longer sustainable, and we really need to redouble and reinvest in those uh, uh, areas that really improve uh, outcomes, in, improve population health, and, and that's what you know primary care does day in and day out, helps patients navigate a, a very complex system. You know that when you're talking with Tom, he is passionate about primary care. He's passionate about family medicine. He wants to do anything that is needed to make sure that every Texan has a primary care physician and that our um, health outcomes are improved. The issue of the importance of primary care physicians in the frontal lobe of the Texas legislature, session in and session out, and they keep racking up wins, and it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a great thing for the state, it's a great thing for patients, and it's a real tribute to Tom and his abilities uh, to work with people. And he's just one of those guys that's really special. He has helped change my life. He's given me great opportunity. He's challenged me. He's helped me see things that I couldn't see. Thank you, Tom. We appreciate you and we appreciate the opportunity to, to, to call you as a friend and as a dear colleague and partner in our work uh, of advancing primary care and health of all Texans. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you.